Hello and welcome to Greatex Building Information video. And my name is Kevin Fox and I'm just going to take you through the process of transferring jobs between the different programs. What we're doing is we're starting here inside of Revit and you can see there there's the analysis model as well as the descriptive model and we're exporting it as a GTC file. Uh, this is our own internal file type which can be used for all of the advanced software and super stress and the plugin to Revit that you just saw is a free download from our website. So once exported the Revit model can be opened up inside of Superstress by just importing the same GTC file and there you can see that the model has come through exactly how you saw it in Revit. All of the sections and materials would have been mapped correctly and if there was any loading inside of Revit that would have also been taken through. Uh, in this case it was just the basic geometry and sections that was inside of Revit so what we're doing is we're going to add on some more of the analysis options in super stress so I've just added on the supports and we're going to add on a little bit of loading in super stress just using the uh, graphical interface that you have there so this is self weight just going on and we're going to follow that with an additional uh, load case which will be lo the roof live load so you can see very easy to add this inside of super stress just by using the graphics and selecting members and selecting what you need. So once complete we're going to put in a combination and this will just combine up the two basic load cases. Uh, we're not going to worry about factors for now, we're just going to add them together and then we're going to analyse the job. Even with a fairly complex job, you can see the analysis is still very quick inside of Superstress, and you can display the analysis results. For example, bending uh, deflections that we're showing here. We can also show bending moments, shear forces. Uh, Superstress can also do modal analysis if required, and any design standard that you want to design to as well. So I'm just going to create a structure set here for one of the elements of the structure and we'll filter the structure for that so we don't have everything else in the way. And then you can very clearly see the bending moments on the screen and the deflection. We can then save that as a view and add it to our report. You can also have a look at the results in any of the tables that are available in Superstress. Uh, you can add filtering to those, filter by load case or element and then you can get maximum values and then envelopes just in the usual way. We already have a report here so I'm just going to show the report. You can see you can put in any of the tables that you saw there and any of the views inside of Superstress. So we're just gonna, now going to move on and go from Superstress into our finite element design program called advanced design and the same process happens we export a GTC file we could have imported the one directly from Revit but what we've done here is we've added on support and loading uh, so we're going to use that file and export it again and bring that one into advanced design but it is important to note that you can take any of these files into any of the programs in any order we can go back to Revit if we want to you can synchronize with um, super stress you can go back to advanced design you can go back to advanced steel which you're going to see later on as well so there there is no correct f way to work you can import any of the files into any of the programs so you can see here we've got the job come through it's got all the loading on there it's got the supports on there and all the sections are there and this has also got a design to Eurocode so you can see there there's some design settings specific to Eurocode 3 we're showing at the moment uh, there was a buckling length calculation previously and here we're going to optimize the design between 80 and 100 percent efficiency <coughs> You can see the load cases that you can create in advanced design, so you can do climatic snow loading, wind loading, seismic loading, dynamic loading, um, and we also have a Eurocode 1 combination, so we're going to remove the load case we had in Superstress and create the automatic combination according to Eurocode 1, and then we're going to run the analysis and design for EC3, so it's going to do a check 
for EC3. Uh, you can see it's doing the FE calculation automatically and now we've got the results for deflections and forces just like you see them in Superstress and you can save all of these views you can add labels you can customize them as much as you need to so these are reactions we're viewing there and then this is a work ratio so showing the percentage of work for the euro code 3 checks you can also go into a lot of detail on any of the members to have a look at the bending moments or shear forces in a graph and export this to excel if you wish and you can get a full detailed report for the deflection um, or section strength and stability for Euroco 3 and have an optimization so you can ask it to verify what is the best section for each of these if it's too small or too big or just right. And also we can generate a report the same way as we can in Superstress you can import one of your tables any of your views or curves that you've created and create a nicely formatted report directly to Word or PDF if you want to so that you can see all of the information inside of Word inside of a, a an RTF file in this case so from here we're going to export again uh, so now we're going to export from advanced design so this could include the results from the analysis model and we're going to take it through into advanced steel so this is our package for still detailing of fabrication and again with the same process this time it's a GTCX all that means is you can in include um, 3D solids into the file just uh, in addition to the GTC basic functionality so there you can see that the, the files come in correctly we're just going to skip on to show the connections that we've added on here so we've added on a few connections inside of advanced steel and you can see the details of the joints all of the settings that you can modify and control and this is the same for any of the joints you would add inside of advanced steel make modifications to the bolts or the bracings or the plate sizes and we can also generate from here all of the documentation needed from advanced steel so we have all of our views component parts GAs, assembly drawings, all of these can be automatically produced directly from the model that has been imported from advanced design or any other program and you can see that these drawings are created and then they will be updated automatically if any changes happened and also bills of materials, quantities, structural lists, assembly lists all of these created directly from advanced steel. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you'd like any more information, please visit our website at greatech.co.uk.